Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is October 22nd, 2023, and Jan Laporta has confirmed his desire to run for re-election in 2026. Also, Barcelona just completed the sale of a Barca Athletic player netting the club 3 million euros. And finally, Bojan Kirkic will be traveling in order to track the progress of Julian Araujo. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo. And before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder that Barca News now has YouTube memberships, which has three different tiers, each tier with its own perks and benefits. So hopefully you'll get to join to enjoy these benefits and will make your experience at Barca News that much more enjoyable. Now having said that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag. And if you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure you hit the bet us. Both links are down below in the description. Now, I'll begin with the news that Barcelona defeated Athletic Club de Bilbao today 1-0, trimming their difference between them and Real Madrid all the way down to one point. And I made a post-match live analysis. So if you are curious about my analysis of that match, make sure you check out the video on my channel. Now, in the post-match interview, Xavi Hernandez spoke in regards to the Barcelona's performance against Athletic Club de Bilbao, and he said, If we analyze the match, the first half was not good. We couldn't play out from the back against Bilbao's press. We managed it well in the second half. Few teams apply the pressure that Athletic did for 90 minutes. We knew it, and Ernesto was brave. His proposal was very good. We have a lot of injured players, but it's not an excuse. We changed the system to find the balance. Now Barcelona won thanks to Marc Gu's goal who debuted with the first team and scored the goal within few seconds of debuting, making it a great night for the youngster and Xavi Hernandez spoke in regards to Marc Gu and he said, although he's only 17, I think Marc Gu is ready. It's time to bet on these players. I told Marc Gu, you'll have one chance, be ready. And he did. He had one chance and he scored it. I learned this from other managers. When things aren't going well, you have to play La Masia players. Homegrown players. We played Mark and he gave us the win. In my time, the youngsters were very scared. These new players aren't afraid of anything. They are hungry and sharp. Now with this victory, Barcelona take home three very important points ahead of a classical match that's set to be played next Saturday, October the 28th. And in the post-match interview, Xavi Hernandez confirmed that only Jules Kunde and Sergio Roberto are completely ruled out for the match. So all the other injured players could play against Real Madrid in the classical match. However, it will all depend on the medical exams and how those players are feeling. Now, before Barcelona play El Clasico match, we do have the Champions League match midweek on Wednesday against Shakhtar Donetsk. So hopefully we'll have another positive result in the European Championship. Now on to the news that Jan Laporta has confirmed his intention to run for re-election in 2026. Now as I reported in yesterday's video, Barcelona held a general assembly for all of its club members where they presented several topics such as the economy of the club and also touched on the Enriquez Nereida case. And during this general assembly, Jan Laporta confirmed his desire to run for re-election in 2026, which is when Jan Laporta's term ends. Now Laporta said, I still have one more mandate. Legally, I could stand for the next elections. As long as I can and want to, I would like to continue with this board. It is an honor to be president of Barcelona. Now this is Jan Laporta's second term because he did serve his first term between the years of 2003 to 2010 and he is confirming his desire to run for a third term at the end of 2026, which is when Jan Laporta's term will end. And of course, as always, I do love to hear from you, so let me know, would you like to see Jan Laporta as president of Barcelona for another term? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now, on to the news that Barcelona have completed the permanent transfer of the Barca Athletic player, Stanis Pedrola, to the Serie A team, Sampodria. 
Now, Stanis Pedrola is a 20-year-old left winger who used to play for Barca Athletic and he was sent on loan to the Italian team Sampdoria. And in his contract, there was a clause that stated that if Stanis Pedrola played a total of 10 matches, then his transfer would become permanent. And after completing those 10 matches, Stanis Pedrola has now been permanently transferred to Sampdoria for a total of 3 million euros. Now, Barcelona has also maintained a 50% clause of any future sales in the player's contract. So if Sampdoria do end up selling the player to another club, Barcelona will earn half of that. And Barcelona also have a buyback clause that will expire in 2025 for 7 million euros. So if Barcelona do decide to buy the player back, they can do it up until 2025 for a total of 7 million euros. And speaking of players who are currently on loan, it's reported that Bojan Kirkic will be traveling in order to observe Julian Araujo, who's been doing pretty well with his new team, Las Palmas. Now, Julian Araujo arrived in Barcelona during the winter transfer market and because of a problem with his registration, he was unable to play any official matches with the club. So instead, he only trained during the second half of last season. And in order so he can get more experience at top flight football, Barcelona sent Julian Araujo on a one season loan with no option to buy to Las Palmas. And so far, Barcelona have been receiving positive reports from the scouts in regards to the uh, to Julian Araujo's performance with his new team. Now, as I reported in a previous video, the Barcelona former player Bojan Kirkic is now part of the Barcelona management, and one of his duties is to track the performance of players who are currently on loan. And it seems that Bojan Kirkic has now his first assignment as he will be traveling in order to observe Julian Araujo playing with Las Palmas. And it's reported that if Julian Araujo continues to impress and continues to provide the club with positive reports, including those reports from Bojan Kirkic, then Barcelona could consider Julian Araujo as a good alternative for their right back position, whether it's to replace João Cancelo in case Barcelona cannot sign the Portuguese fullback, or as a substitute for João Cancelo in case Barcelona are able to sign Cancelo on a permanent basis. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Biscars.